Hello! In this video, we are going to give you a complete rundown on your new NAMA J2 cold press juicer. We're going to teach you everything you need to know, from setting up the juicer, to loading the hopper, and cleaning up when finished. After opening up the box, we suggest taking a look at the quick start guide and other printed materials, which can be found inside the chamber set box. These guides and materials will show you everything you need to know. Additionally, you can use your phone to scan the QR code, which will take you to the Getting Started page on our website. We also suggest taking out each component and becoming familiar with their names. Here's a quick graphic to demonstrate just that. Assembly. First, combine the spinning brush, strainer, and auger. Insert the strainer into the spinning brush, and then insert the auger into the strainer. You will notice two wings on the strainer, one large and one small. Firmly place the strainer into the chamber by locating the corresponding large and small cutouts. Push down until the top of the auger is sitting flush with the top of the strainer. Place the hopper onto the chamber set by aligning the guide on the hopper with the unlock symbol on the chamber. Rotate the hopper clockwise until the guide mark is in line with the lock symbol. Place the entire hopper and chamber set onto the base. You can now insert the power cord into the base if you have not done so already. If the chamber set will not sit flush onto the base, check the following things. Ensure the pulp outlet loop is closed correctly. Make sure the hopper is installed correctly by confirming the guide on the hopper is in line with the lock symbol. Preparing produce. Today, we're going to be making green juice. This recipe contains one bulb of fennel, one pear, four to six romaine leaves, two cups of spinach, one green apple, and one lime. When preparing your ingredients for juicing, cut all produce into pieces that will fit into the hopper. We found that you can fit more produce into the hopper by cutting everything into smaller pieces. Additionally, make sure to remove any stickers or residue that might be on your produce. Loading the hopper. To begin loading the hopper, pull the release tab inside the hopper handle to open the lid. For the best results when loading the hopper, we suggest adding softer leafy ingredients at the bottom and harder ingredients on top. For example, place kale and spinach on the bottom, followed by soft ingredients such as lemon and pineapple. Then place harder produce like celery and cucumber. Lastly, put ingredients such as carrots, beets, and ginger on the top. When filling up the hopper, do not load past the maximum fill line. Now you can close the lid until it locks into place. The juicer has a safety sensor which will prevent the motor from turning on until the lid is closed correctly. Before beginning to juice, make sure the pulp and juice containers are in place. Juicing. To begin juicing, turn the knob to the on position. You will hear a slight click as the drive shaft engages with the auger. This is a normal sound to hear. If you have more ingredients, you can insert them through the hole in the lid or open the hopper and reload as needed. We do suggest loading and layering ingredients in the same fashion as before, soft on the bottom and harder on top. Once the chamber fills up, open the juice spout and empty into the juice container. If needed, you can use the included pusher to guide any stuck pieces. In the event that the juicer stops or becomes jammed, you can turn the knob to the reverse position for 20 seconds. Once juicing is complete, open the juice spout and allow any remaining juice to pour out. Turn the knob to the off position. If you'd like, you can tilt the entire chamber set to get out every last drop. Cleaning. We always encourage cleaning right after juicing. This makes cleaning easier and prevents unwanted buildup on the components. Holding the handle, pull the entire chamber set off of the base and begin to disassemble in the sink. Turn the hopper counterclockwise to remove it from the chamber. The lid of the chamber can be removed by opening and pulling up. Under warm water, brush each component. The inside of the hopper is safe to clean. 
When cleaning the chamber, open the pulp outlet loop and clean the inside. The pulp outlet gasket can be easily removed and cleaned. Simply push it back into place once clean. There are other removable silicone parts on the juicer that can be removed and cleaned. For more information, please check out the cleaning video which will be linked in the description. Always hand dry or allow the parts to completely air dry before reassembling. To store any remaining juice, pour into an airtight container and it will stay fresh in the refrigerator for up to three days. If you have any further questions or concerns, check out our other support videos linked below or contact our customer support team. Enjoy!